Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I know what you're thinking. He's been posting the video every week or something like that, and now he's done drop all the face of the earth. Well, I had a bunch of stuff come up. Um, been working a lot. Uh, just took a vacation in the, in the uh, Bahamas. Um, heat according the truck went out. So yeah, just a uh, just a lot of stuff been happening. Um, it's gonna be a busy week for me, so I'm gonna try to fit some stuff in. Um, but I got a lot of new stuff happening for the channel. Um, basically, here's the truck. She's uh, been sitting in here for a good week now. I ain't cranked her up or nothing for a week. Um, the heater core went out on my truck. Um, so it's been spraying antifreeze on the inside of the truck. Um, and it's all up on my carpet. Um, it's leaking from under the dash. Um, and at one point, uh, people thought it was on fire from uh, the steam that was uh, coming from the antifreeze. It was leaking down on the exhaust uh, manifold. And uh, it was using uh, uh, quite a bit of water in the antifreeze there. Uh, about burned out my motor because uh, it overheated once. I was like, nah, I can't do this. I got to quit driving it. So uh, she's been sitting here in the garage for about a week now. Um, got the heater core. I went ahead and bought the heater core. I went and had the job uh, estimated fourteen hundred dollars to. Place this piece right here. The part is 50 bucks, and labor is apparently 1,300, about 1,300 dollars. So, because you got to take the whole dash out, you got to take out the uh, steering wheel to lay the dash down. You got to um, undo the AC system, bleed it out, recharge it, hook everything back up. Trying to antifreeze, put in new antifreeze. So, what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, just pull back my carpet, see if I can't drop the heater core down without having to remove the dash. Uh, one of my buddies, he has a 94 Ford Ranger, and he did that. So, um, we'll see how that goes, see if it's possible. Um, so, I've been limited now to driving my parents. Uh, Cobalt and Jeep Liberty, or no, Jeep Patriot. Sorry. Um. So yeah, she's uh just been sitting here. I miss driving my truck, man. All right. So uh, we had the truck. That's what's going on. I went to the Bahamas for five day cruise. Now that was pretty cool. It was the uh, second time we did that. But uh, tell you what, can't nothing replace um. North Carolina, just staying home and being in North Carolina. Um, I'd rather be here than out there, so. But uh, it was alright. Um, took the Carnival Cruise Line boat out there. And uh, it was, uh, like I said, it was alright, but I'd rather stay here. Uh, pretty much all the rich folks out there on that boat. So we got uh, out of season tickets. We uh, reserved. I think back in June, and Daddy had military discount, so me and my sister, and Mom, and Daddy went out to the Bahamas. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, for the Buick, let's see. Uh, my mechanic, he had some surgery going on, so uh, he let's see, he cut the floor pan out for his surgery, and um, he welded it. He welded in the new floor pans this week. So I should be picking it up uh, this weekend and putting in my new seats, putting in my interior, and I'm going to be ordering some fiberglass headliner so I can put it in the Buick and just dress things up a little bit. Okay, so, alright, um, and I'm going to be dressing up my man cave up here. Um, ordered some new flags uh, for the truck and for my attic space up here. Um, so that'll be a little surprise for y'all. Um, and 
I might start doing some blogging stuff up here. You know, just some some little stuff. Um, that's pretty much all that I got going on right now. Like I said, you know, sorry, just been busy. Haven't been updating and uh, uploading stuff that much. Um, appreciate y'all subscribing. Um, just uh, keep watching, keep liking, keep uh, uh, whatever y'all do. <laughs> just appreciate appreciate y'all um, watching my videos. Um, pretty much it. Uh, I got I do got a surprise. Hopefully it'll be coming in Saturday. Saturday. Um, I'm gonna be. Shy, I can't tell you. I'll, I'll just let it be a surprise. Um, it has to do with trucks, four wheel drives, and some big block motors. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Hopefully, it'll be coming in Saturday. And I'll be picking it up. And I'll let y'all know what happens then. So, uh, new t shirt. Uh, we went out from Charleston, South Carolina. So, uh, just pick up this t shirt there. Down there, so uh, letting the hair grow out just a little bit. It's cold. Well, it was cold. It's about, I think it hit about 70 yesterday. So, that's about it for this one. Just want to keep y'all updated. Appreciate my Ford Ranger subscribers, my Buick subscribers, my, uh, my, my redneck and country folk out there. I did get a new whip for the truck. That, uh, 102 inch whip from Radio Shack. Um, dressed up some of my Buick stuff here. Um, this was a an original 1974 Canadian Buick Apollo uh, pamphlet. I something I guess you could say. I guess they had it sitting there at the dealership. Um, this one is a March. 24th, 1974, 74 Buick Apollo brochure. I got that sitting up there. Um, just dressing up the garage a little bit. As you can see, I got a lot of junk in here. I gotta take care. That's an original 1973 to 75 Buick Apollo owner's manual. I'm gonna frame that and put that up there too. So, like I said, got a lot of, st lot of stuff going on. Going to try to fix up the truck. Um, going to try to get around from re removing the dash. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to try to get the Buick back. Uh, put in the interior. Um, work on the man cave a little bit. So, just got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, just hang with me, y'all. Uh, subscribe, comment, like. Share, share on Facebook and all that. Go ahead, just do whatever. So, all right. Well, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, just keep it cool, keep it real, and I'll be ten ten on the side. I'm out.